nothing bigger than a little me time after a hard day's work. Uh, let's see what we've got to watch here. So how about those atoms? No gracias. Eh, yeah, alright. This just in, after Supreme Leader of North Korea made a Twitter account yesterday, President Donald Trump's Twitter DMs with him have accidentally been leaked by Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. We have on the line now to discuss the situation. Hello Trump, so in this leaked message you stated, quote, When I got re-elected, you're getting nuked, lol. Yeah, that's what we in the industry like to call fake news. To all the morons out there that actually believe this, those were uh, clearly forged. But President Trump, we have inside Twitter sources confirming the messages you sent, as well as that you deleted them less than 10 minutes ago. Well, uh, clearly my Twitter was wiretapped. Case closed. Pardon me, Mr. President, but what exactly does that mean? Sorry, I, I can't really hear you. I think the line's, the line's breaking up. God, can Americans ever get some less depressing news? Oh my god, Donald Trump. I love you so much. Oh my we're god. We're live. Wait, wait, are we live? Yeah, we're are live. We li oh my god, are we live? Uh, uh. <laughs> <clears throat> this is bullsh. Gosh, who can Americans even trust anymore? Oh well, science fell it is. Not so fast, foolish American. Uh, Uncle Sam, what are you doing here? You, along with millions of other Americans, have failed to fulfill on the ideals that this nation was founded upon. What do you mean? I'm a good law-abiding citizen. Come with me. Let's go on a little history lesson. Where are we, Uncle Sam? Who's that funny-looking guy with the wig? The date is September 25th, 1789, and this is James Madison, who is drafting the Bill of Rights, which contains the first ten amendments of the Constitution. Okay, but why did you take us here? Are you familiar with the First Amendment? Uh... Don't answer that. It enforces no restriction on freedom of speech or the press in the U.S. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peacefully to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. However, with an uncensored press has come a serious consequence. Fake news. While yes, the term has surged in popularity in recent times due to certain individuals, False information spread through the press has been an issue since the inception in the Enlightenment era. By spreading false information through the production of fake news, people are undermining this great freedom. Okay, but I'm not seeing what I have to do with any of this. I'm not a journalist or anything. As expected, I guess I'm really gonna have to drive the point home. What is this place, Sam? This is your home three years in the future. Donald Trump has been re-elected into office and has launched nuclear warfare against North Korea, and they've stepped back. Fake news is a serious threat. It's crucial that we as Americans come together to make logical decisions and not give power to the wrong people, for the sake of our country and our freedoms. Gee, I didn't think my political decisions could have this big of an impact. Thanks, Sam. I think I'm finally starting to realize the knowledge bomb you're dropping on me here. That makes me very happy to hear, but I have one last test for you. Or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press. This is bullsh. I think the line's the line's breaking up. It's dog or be dog.